Hi, this is Rachel, and I'm going to talk about showing ratios in the forms of n to the 1 or 1 to the n. So we have two questions here, one asking us to give a ratio in the form n to the 1, and one asking us to give it in the form 1 to n. So let's start with this top one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my ratio with n to the 1 underneath. And I want my colons to line up. So you can see here I've got my n underneath my 10 and my 1 underneath my 4. Now this is important because what I want to do is see which side of my ratio the 1 is on. So the 1 is on the right hand side, so that's the same side as this 4. And I want to divide my ratio, my 10 to the 4 ratio, by the side of th that the 1 is on. So that's this side here. So I want to divide 10 to the 4 by 4. So I want to divide there. And because it's a ratio, I need to do the same thing to both sides. So I'm dividing this side by 4 as well. So, let's have a look at what we get. So on the left, I'm doing 10 divided by 4. I can do this in a calculator if I like. So 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. And then on the right hand side, I'm doing 4 divided by 4, which I know is 1. And that's why I've set it up in this way, to give me 1 on the right hand side. So you can now see that I've got, a for, I've got a ratio in the format n to the 1, where n is just a number. So I've designed it to have the 1 on the right hand side. OK, let's have a look at this second question, where I'm being asked to write 5 to the 12 in the form 1 to n. So I'm going to do the same thing to start off with. I'm going to write 5 to 12 with my 1 to n underneath it. And again, I'm looking to see which side of this ratio the 1 is on, and I'm dividing both sides by that number. So this time, I'm dividing by 5, because the 5 is on the same side as the 1. OK, so let's look at what we get. So over here, we've got 5 divided by 5 which is 1, and on the right hand side I have 12 divided by 5, which I'm just going to pop quickly into this calculator, 12 divided by 5, and that's 2.4.